Welcome to caucus night, fellow Republicans. Thanks for coming. I'm your state auditor, John Dougal. The caucus night is the most important part of Utah's political process, and that process starts here tonight. As friends and neighbors, we come together, we discuss the current issues, we talk about the candidates, and we select like-minded delegates that we know and trust. Delegates spend countless hours rigorously vetting candidates so the best end up representing our party. This vetting culminates at our county and state conventions. We've used this process for over 100 years, and it has resulted in Utah being consistently ranked as one of the best many states in America. The caucus convention system came under attack in 2014 by big money special interests. I fear their vision will result in Utah emulating California's broken political system, where big money controls politics. I believe you and your delegates should decide how we nominate our candidates. That is our constitutional right. I'd like you to hear from those on the front lines fighting to protect our caucus convention system. One thing that I wish people knew about the caucus convention system is that it's not run by a few people. There are literally thousands of delegates across the state of Utah. We have 4,000 state delegates, over 30,000 county delegates. And these are just average Utahns. They're your neighbors that you've elected. And what they have that's above average is an incredible amount of dedication to spend so much time in vetting candidates and making sure that in Utah we have good governance. The coolest thing to me about the caucus system is that it's an opportunity for me to come together with my neighbors and to, to talk about politics, talk about the issues that impact us as a community, and then to get to know each other. And then also we have our elected representatives who contact us, who come. We actually get to meet them. They become people and we become people to them, not just votes. In the state of Utah there are about 19,000 plus people represented by each person in the legislature. But on the delegate level in the Republican Party, there are only about 158 people represented by each state delegate. That means they're very close to home. They're probably down the street. They're accessible. And as a result, I have better representation and a stronger voice with the caucus convention system. I'm a transplant from California about 14 years ago. And in California, I watched the grassroots uh, opportunity and participation in politics disappear. I watched the state become a one-party state, uh, and uh, you didn't have access uh, to the politicians, and the politicians weren't held accountable by the people. Um, when I came to Utah, I had an opportunity to participate in the caucus system. I was elected a state delegate, and uh, would, I put a call into a U.S. Senate candidate. He phoned me back in 20 minutes, and we talked for 30 minutes. And I felt like I um, had access. I felt like uh, the neighbors and I that talked about issues and agreed on them that I actually could um, discuss those issues with the candidate and plant some ideas about our thoughts and feelings with the candidate. The caucus system allowed me to participate in the electoral process. Allow a person with a strong accent, with a broken English, to be able to understand the issues, to talk to those that are running for public office, to hold them accountable. And, uh, and because that provided that path for me, I think it is important for all of us to protect that caucus system, that vehicle, so that any immigrant or any minority that wants to be involved um, can do it. Anybody in Utah who wants to run for public office would be really smart to have an R next to their name. But that doesn't mean that they're going to be the best person to represent the Republican Party. So for me, the caucus system allows the party to determine which candidate best represents the values and the beliefs of our platform. I think the caucus system is great at holding elected officials accountable because they know they have to go back and meet with those county and state delegates. They don't just get to skip over them and forget that it ever happened. They have to go back and say, hey, I told you this when I was campaigning. When I came to your county, when I came to your conventions, I said, this is how I feel on this issue. And I didn't vote that way, and here's why. And then those county and state delegates feel a sense of responsibility to say, hey, I was elected because I said I believed in these principles and I would pick candidates who feel that way. And I need you to represent that too. You know, one thing as a candidate who was accountable to the delegates is I felt like I had a better chance to explain my positions. Not every delegate agreed with the things that I was running on, but many did. Uh, but it gave me a chance to talk to them one-on-one -on -one or in small groups, and it really felt like this was 
electioneering in action. If we don't have this system in place, what's going to happen is those with the most money, those with the most access to the media are able to get their messages out, while those that have good ideas but no money really have no way to participate as candidates in the system. I'm grateful for your attendance tonight and for your efforts to make Utah a great place to live, work, and raise our families. I'm also thankful for the earnest efforts of Republicans across the state who have fought to preserve our First Amendment rights, and I'd like to invite each of you to join them. We'll now be passing the Freedom of Association initiative down each row. If you'd like to volunteer, circle your name on the petition or visit keepmyvoice.org. Thank you.